And hey, welcome back to River Talk. You've heard the phrase, all hat, no cattle. That's me and my cowboy experience. I just wear the shirt, sometimes wear the hat. I wanted to be a cowboy so badly when I was a little kid. I was. Were you a cowboy? I was always a cowboy. Roy Rogers and the boys, when they came on that screen, son, I rode that rug right in front of that black and white TV. Did you know? Yes, sir. My six shooters, I was ready to rock and roll. Wide up. All of them. I grew up in a little town in North Carolina, but we still had a livery stable in town up until I was probably eight, and people would still come in and buy their horses and mules for the farms. It's kind of, and I'm not that old, but yeah, it was kind of neat. And we had this rodeo, had this big event called Mule Days. Mm -hmm up where I grew up, and uh, th that's still going on. But all the livestock, like the bulls and everything from right. the rodeo, were kept out there on the neighboring farm. And so I'd be out there throwing little dirt clods at the bulls, trying to get them all stirred up. That wasn't smart of me, was it? Probably not. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, Stacy Smith, good seeing you. Thank you. Good to see you. We've been communicating via email, and we share a passion, the love of rodeo, and it's coming up this weekend. That's right. That's right. This Friday and Saturday night. Um, starts at 8 o'clock each night. This is high school rodeo, which mm -hmm. is intriguing to me. That yeah. is. It is. So many people don't know about it. That, that's one of the reasons ever since we got involved in it that we wanted to raise awareness here in Horry County about it because it's uh, South Carolina High School Rodeo has been around for 40. This is our 45th year. 45 years, yeah. right? See, I didn't know. Yeah, and I only caught wind of it a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, exciting. Like I say, we, we started back when our daughter was in uh, a freshman in high school, and she graduated in 2015, and, and we're still there. Wow. So, uh, we well, I'm glad it. you guys took up the mantle of still, uh, still keeping this alive. Uh, this, uh, this weekend, wh where's the rodeo going to be held? I mean, how it'll, do we get there? Um, it'll be down at our farm at 701 South, uh, about five miles out of Conway on Gilbert Road. Mm -hmm. We'll have signs out. It's 1208 Gilbert Road, Conway. So that's south of where we're sitting now. Yes, down yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, Centrally located in the county. What time does everything start up on a Friday? The gates will open at 6, but the actual performance starts at 8 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we will have a lot of activities going on on Saturday as well. South Carolina High School Rodeo is open to all ages, kindergarten through high school, actually. Um, there's a junior high division which is recognized nationally but south carolina also has a youth division that we created uh probably about six eight years ago to kind of get the the younger kids prepared so that when they started so we'll actually be having a junior high performance that'll start at 12 o'clock there's also cutting and rain cow horse performances that will be cutting will be at eight rain cow horse at three cowboy church at 10 30 so saturday it will be a very busy day. Got some cowboy church, which is kind of neat. Yeah, my yeah, husband and I facilitate cowboy church at all the rodeos. So I yeah. love that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really important. We it's important to us to honor God. We're gone so much, and a lot of us don't, you know, don't get a chance sure. to be in church. So we incorporate it there. Man, that's awesome mm -hmm. that y'all do that. You got that right. Yeah, cowboy that's what it's church. all about. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, let's go back in time. I mean, you said the the high school rodeo league's been around for forty five years. Is it just because we don't associate the well, cowboy lifestyle here in the Carolinas? I think that's part of it because um, upstate, you know, most of our rodeos are in the upper part of the mm -hmm. state, central part of the state, and there's so much more opportunity there than there is here. There's a lot more um, rope and pins around or, or, you know, kids have opportunity to do more. You know, we, we grew up here with a, a local um, horse show association, but it was more, it was like um, Western racking and speed events, mm -hmm. you know, that, but not, not the rodeo atmosphere. I, all I can say is I wish I'd known it was around because I, I could have actually competed, but who knew? Yeah, who knew? So that, that's what we're trying to do. I mean, we've done a lot of things. With, this is our fifth year having the rodeo, and we also, also actually put a float in the parade this year in the Conway Parade and passed out flyers. We figured, figured that would be a, yeah, yeah, a, good place, this, yeah. a good place to – yeah, it drew attention because everybody's like, oh, look at the Cowboys. Right. But Yeah, yeah. because we're not, used to, we're not used to seeing anything like that. Right. The closest thing to, to I've ever seen is soap on a rope. <laughs> uh, as far as, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just don't see a lot of that around here. And right. so I, it surprised me, too, because I love rodeos. I mean, I would like, I mean, you know, I like the uh, Bronco. Uh, of course, are you going to, you're not going to have Brahma bulls out there. This is more or less going to be a. 
No, right? sir. We're having bulls. Oh, oh this is right. Bulls, yeah. 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 I'm sponsoring Everything. a high school kid out there. That's right. You are? Oh, so, yeah. So yeah. They, they actually ride the Brahma bulls out yes, there. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Well, now, I, I've never seen a Brahma bull around here. Will you import them in or what? No, they're around. They are? You just got to get out in the country. I got to get out in the country. Yeah. I'm on the boulevard too much. That's, That's right. ridiculous. Yeah, you got to get all, off Man. the beaten path. That is cool. Yeah. I'm excited. We're going. I'm definitely going. Yeah, please. I want to go check it out. I love I love rodeos. Please do. You'll, yeah. you you'll be amazed. Like I say, our kids. We got some really really talented kids. We've got um, one of our girls that graduated last year was when when they compete at nationals. The way it works is um, you this is a qualifying rodeo for state, and at state finals, the top four that finish in the state are qualified to go to nationals, and that's held. Well, this year it'll be in Rock Springs, Wyoming. So they go compete at nationals, and that's the largest rodeo in the world. Wow. Because you've got, wow. I think it's 43 states, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and Mexico compete there. And it's amazing. It, 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 I can't even explain how huge it is. The kids, there's like 1,600 rodeo athletes that compete during that time. So. This is great. Yeah, these kids yeah. are working the circuit. Now, I might be off on my dates, but I think the state finals are in May. Yeah, it's, it'll actually be um, Memorial Weekend. Okay. That's usually when we have them. But what I was going to say, one of our um, one of our girls that graduated last year, she won the world, they call it a world championship title because it is for high school and nationals. And um, we've had several that have finished. They have what they call a short go. You have two goes, two, two competitions, and then the last one, the top 20, top 15 or top 20 i'm trying to remember go to what they call a short go so we've had kids all over the years that have made it to the short go and that's a really big thing for south carolina because mm-hmm. we have think of it this way we have one association one group places like texas and utah places like that they might have 11 yeah that are bigger mm-hmm. than our one so you, they're in some stiff competition so to go and, and compete at that level and do that well is is amazing how long has this been going on? I mean, now you said something about if you had known when you were in high school. So this has been going on before you were in high school then? Oh, yeah, 45 years here in our state. Wow. And I can't remember, but much longer than that nationally. Hmm. Actually, and, and I'll, I'll get it wrong if I try to get names, but the guy that started it really wanted to start high school radio to encourage the ranch kids to stay in school. Yeah. Right, right, and to offer them a chance at um, continuing education afterwards. So that's that's really why it was started. It's a really great organization. They they we have um, strict rules. They have to their conduct and their grades have to be you know good. They have to be in Western attire. They have to keep their back numbers on all weekend. If if any of our kids go out to Waffle House after the radio, they have to have their back number on. Huh. So if they get in trouble, all you got to do is say, hey, back number 27 <laughs> Wow. That's stole right. some salt shakers or whatever. Right. You know, so. Saw that boy ordering a waffle, number so, 36. All right, buddy. So, so instead so of letter we, sweaters uh, in, in high school, they, they have numbers on their back. Well, the numbers, they have, to, <laughs> they have to have that to compete in. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, but but we do we 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 call them to a higher standard, and it's really you know you think about it if you a, a place, uh, an association where your kids are together. We have eleven, we have eleven rodeos a year plus state finals, and then we have a couple of multi states. So that many weekends, these kids are with families. I mean, we park like we're like a bunch of gypsies. I mean, everybody that goes has their own self-contained trailer living quarters they mm. keep their horse generator right and we park out there and camp and just have a great time oh, so I they're bet. overseen by responsible adults and a board that cares about them and has a passion for young people and and helping them to so be the able family to, units are yeah. tight-knit with yes yeah, real too. tight i mean it's insane I mean, you've tight. got brothers sisters mm-hmm. younger younger brothers that are that are getting into this mm-hmm. and it's it's getting some notoriety. I've seen some of the high school rodeo. RFD TV is a cable. Well, I've network. seen that. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. they they um view, they show our national finals. Sure. So you'll keep seeing them replay um, over over time. And that's what really got me tipped off. And then I run into this kid and he's talking about rodeo here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I I gotta I gotta promote this because I love it. The the another thing that is really cool, Deacon, is that these kids go out there and they're 
partially responsible for the fundraising side of making sure there, that there's oh, ads in the programs at, at this level and at the state level. They are. They have they mm-hmm. have ads they have to sell. They have um, raffle tickets that they have to sell in the fall, ads for the state finals in the spring. And, um, I mean, they're required. There's, there's certain requirements. But, but South Carolina High School Rodeo does a lot for them. Mm-hmm. Um, as well, you know, there's scholarship money that that they all can can obtain. Um, each kid that competes and makes it to, and will get a, a jacket or a vest similar similar to this. Um, we give away whole oh, thousands and thousands of dollars in saddles, belt buckles, mm. um, other awards, and different things like that. Plus, they get seen. They can get seen by colleges and get a chance for full rides or partial rides at a at a college or university. Is the sport bigger now, or is it just me? I mean, the I, sport of rodeo itself, because uh, those Brazilians, I don't uh, know yeah. what it is about. <laughs> they can ride <laughs> bulls know. now. Yeah. Oh, I it's know. insanity. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they're good. But we're yeah. seeing young kids, I, and I say, you know, early 20s, that are, like, competing on that national world stage. Oh, yeah. We have a contestant who was actually injured about four weeks ago, and he – He's really headed somewhere. Um, really great. I mean, he he was standing at the at the end of last season, standing for Rookie of the Year and um, All Around Cowboy. And he, I mean, we got some really talented That's kids. That's awesome. So shout out to you, Ross Price. We love you. There you go. <laughs> How about the girls' side? I mean, great the, great opportunity for the ladies too. Yeah, and one thing about rodeo with girls, you know, in the past, the only event they've had in pro rodeo has been barrel racing. Mm-hmm. But since they at last year at the American, they added breakaway, which is like like the boys' calf roping. Except when when they rope, there's a, a string tied on the the ropes tied to a, a like builder's cord string mm-hmm. on the saddle horn, and it sure. just pops. So since so they, they don't open, have to jump off the horse. No, or no, they right. don't have to jump off. Yeah. It's just breakaway. So yeah. since that's been added in, it's really helped the um, ladies end of it in rodeo. In high, in rodeo, now in high school rodeo, they have several. They can like team rope breakaway. Goat tie, barrel racing, and poles. Yeah, so. Man. Plus rain cow horse and cutting. And we also have a shooting team. Forgot about that. That's yeah, going on. Now, eight, now that's you, going on at 8 o'clock Saturday morning. No oh, kidding. Yeah. So the junior high does um, light rifle. They shoot a twenty two rifle. And then the high schoolers do light rifle and trap or like skeet. No, and, and is they, that while riding the horse? No, no, no. That's totally <laughs> separate. That'd be cool, man. I'd like to do that. Wow. I'd like to do the bow well, and arrow thing. There. I want to do the bow and arrow thing on a horse. I just want to see if I can do it. You know what I mean? That's yeah, called that's, yeah. cowboy mounted shooting. That, but that's yeah, neat, though. But yeah, they do. We have, like I said, we have three events that are, are done away from the rodeo or not along with the performance. That's the right. shooting t- sports team. The cutting event and the rain cow horse event. We'll be shooting towards the spectators in uh, row twelve. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be. So what do you do? You, so, so that's away from the arena itself somewhere, and they have. Yeah, to, we yeah. we ha- like I say, we have eleven rodeos, but those three events we hold. We don't have to have them at every rodeo. We do right. like well, like for the cutting and rain cow horse, we have um, two in the spring and two in the fall. So. Um, but yeah, I'm but, the sh- now, but they can compete at nationals on all those. Like when we right. go to national finals, they'll do all those events. The okay. rain cow horse cutting. What about and the, shoot. okay? So, say you bring your family over mm-hmm. there, and not, I mean the rodeo is going to be exciting itself. But do you have a little extracurricular activities uh, Ooh, like like know, pony rides? Pony rides. Yes, so just, we'll, yeah, right. Yes, we'll have pony rides. We have pony rides. We'll have some really good food um, vendors. We got Papa's Grill coming with food. We got. Um, Oh, Gerald Pope coming with sweets, all kind of sweet things, and and crazy tra- all you ladies, crazy train, um, boutique wear. We we'll mm. have a vendor How for about them. That? Uh-oh. So yeah, so you want to come shop? Well, I'm gonna leave Barb at home then. We're going. I'm, I'm leave I'm Barb def- at home. You and I will go over she, there. She'll get on that crazy train. Um, <laughs> Thanks, sir. So? Oh man, the thing that cost me the most money in our marriage was this subscription to Cowboys and Indians magazine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Please bring her. She'll love it. <laughs> See, please bring her. <laughs> yeah, you know, you absolutely know. That's right. Well, how does one get their kid involved in rodeo? I mean, there's um, a lot of kids that ride around here that might have right. an interest in it. Well, the biggest thing, if depending on what they want to do, like, you know, there's a lot of girls, especially, that do barrels and poles around here. That would be, you know, fairly simple. For the boys, I would highly recommend that they go find somebody. You know, I always recommend find somebody that that's doing it well and go talk to them. 
you know there's there's um bull riding schools there's steer wrestling school there's you know all kinds of different places that they can go get you know trained you don't want to just go out there and and say oh i think i'll ride a bull yeah right i mean that could turn out pretty bad (laughs) yeah (laughs) you really you really there's all kind of places that they can go and learn and contact me i'll be glad to you know i can't there's a lot of things i can't teach you but i can sure point you in the right direction you ever read the bull uh, no, sir, I really don't have a <laughs> – <laughs> I'll stick to horses. Yeah, I would say I would too. Yeah. Remember that craze, uh, the urban cowboy craze and the oh, mechanical yeah, John bulls Travolta. that popped mm. up everywhere? That's when country music became cool. That's right. Well, it, it was is. cool it really is. before. I mean, well, I, I'm talking about to every, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody else yeah. caught up with us. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that 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 made a big that made a big difference in country music for the younger generation. Not me now. I've always I've always, I was raised it. on. Oh, me just too. Absolutely raised. Well, on. I'm from West Virginia. What's that tell you? <laughs> so you, you have you ever had the hankering to get out there and just be the cowboy? I have. I well, went out to Texas. Goodness gracious! I think 1999, and we're taking a tour of the hill country. And I ride by and I see the interest of this ranch. We drive about five more miles down the road and we see another interest to the same ranch. And I was like, going, man, how cool is that to be your own neighbor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real. I love yeah, that. Yeah, man. Just love that. Wide open space. Well, see, the last time I rode a horse, no, maybe not the last time. I had to get back on a horse. But I remember uh, I, I was 13 years old and uh, my father took us to ride horses and my horse wanted to go back to the barn. And so he goes flying around. I had his, I could have kissed, I kissed his lips. I had the horse's head. I was kissing his lips. And uh, he just kept going. Finally, I said, I'm taking my feet out of the stirrups. I'm out of here. I dropped off. Don't remember the thing for an hour. <laughs> I was standing there. The old man standing next to me by the fence looking at the horses laughing at me. Had blood coming out of my mouth. I said, yeah, that was fun, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roy taught me everything I know. <laughs> yeah, that. But 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 I did get back on a horse uh, after that because they say you have to get back on. So I did That's do right. that. But it's, of course, it's a few years later, and it was in front of Walmart. But it doesn't matter. It was a horse. <laughs> yeah, I love when the manager comes out there and unplugs it and saves you. It's a beautiful. That's thing. That's exactly right. So, Stacy, a big big weekend for you. That's right. What's next? How many rodeos are we looking at doing? Uh, in a year's time um we have well this is the beginning our our season starts in the fall we have a break during the winter and then we um start back in the spring so this is the first of six for the spring plus state finals so we'll be going every weekend pretty much until until may and then nationals will be in june and july wow so you do a little traveling then with all this we do yeah we we do We, we stay on the road a pretty good bit wow that is so cool it really yeah. is. I like that. Well, is anybody welcome to come to Cowboy Church? Because everybody's welcome to come to Cowboy Church. I'm really excited about it too, because um, we, um, Buddy and I, attend Salem Baptist Church out in the Ori community, and we, our youth pastor, um, Randy Hilburn, is going to be doing Cowboy Church. So I'm looking forward to that. And we do another thing too, and it's not really to pay anybody to do it, but we offer any of the any of the contestants that show up at Cowboy Church. We um, just kind of put their names in a hat and draw, and one of them will pay their entry fees for Saturday night. Just to remind them that yeah. Jesus already paid ours. Right. Wow, that's so, strong right there. One sure more thing is. I'd like to throw in. Um, any young kid that comes up to the gate, um, the tickets are $10 for adults, 5 and under are free. But any young kid that can quote a Bible verse gets in for half price, too. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, I love it. That's right. I love I, that don't be cool. coming up in there with Jesus wept. That's, that's a short right. One. <laughs> Jesus wept. Or, or, yeah, or hey. Jesus loves me this I know. That's too easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's in a song. I don't think that's a, <laughs> well, now, that's wait a, a song. Yeah, that's but get in half price for that one, maybe. That's yeah, a song. Uh, hey, if they put, the forth, if they again, put forth the effort, my guys out at the gate will make sure they That's do. awesome. Yeah. That's right. Bible verse, half price. Thank you so yeah. much, Stacy Smith. Pleasure Thank meeting you. Thank you. I know our paths will great. cross again. Thanks. Appreciate so you, happy you having us. to you and yours. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good happy stuff. Trails. Rodeo this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Work on those Bible verses, youngins. That's right. Hey, we'll be right back with more River Talk in a moment.